Hey guys, this is Vet Peak. Let me continue on Japan MO finals. So the problem three is the following functional equation, which is defined on positive real numbers. So the equation is quite similar to an additive equation, which means f a plus b equals to f a plus f b. Well, it is not exactly like that, but uh, you can feel that they are quite uh, related with each other. So usually when we have this additive structure, the solutions are just linear functions. And indeed, this is also the case for the problem. And let's see how we prove it. So let's look at our equation. Since we have this fy over fx term, a very natural thing is to try y equals to x. And this implies that f2 equals to fx plus 2 minus f of x. And this is true for any positive real numbers x. So a second thing we can take x equals to 2, then this gives f of fy over f2 plus 1 equals to f2 plus y over 2 plus 1 minus f2. So we have this f2 plus something minus f2. Then we can use this first identity and this is equals to f of y over 2 plus 1. So if we can say that f is injective, then this means that this term f y over f 2 plus 1 equals to y over 2 plus 1. And that will give us the desired solution. So now it remains to prove that f is injective. f injective. So to prove that f is injective, we assume that there are two numbers alpha and beta such that f alpha equals to f beta, and we want to prove that we want to prove that alpha equals to beta. So let's apply this uh, identity with y equals to alpha and then arbitrary x. So y equals to alpha, and this gives f of f alpha over f of x plus 1 equals to f of x plus alpha over x plus 1 minus f of x. Now we can do the same thing with y equals to beta and this gives y of y oh sorry f of f beta over f x plus 1 equals to f of x plus beta over x plus 1 minus f of x. And since f alpha equals to f of beta, this means that these two terms are equal to each other. And necessarily we have that these two terms are equal, which means that for any x, f of x plus alpha over x plus 1 equals to f of x plus beta over x plus 1. So now we get these two equations. The idea is that when beta is different from alpha, then we can find an appropriate x such that this term equals to this term plus 2. So in this case, we can apply the first equation and build a contradiction. So let's assume that alpha is larger than beta. In this case, we will take x0 equals to alpha minus beta over 2. In this case, we can evaluate x0 plus alpha x0 plus 1. So this term minus x0 plus beta over x0 plus 1 is nothing but alpha minus beta over x0, which is equals to 2. So now we can apply the equation on x equals to this term in the first equation, 
So in particular, we have that fx0 plus alpha over x0 plus 1 minus fx0 plus beta over x0 plus 1 must be equals to f2. However, we know that they are equal to each other and this is 0. This is a contradiction because f is defined on positive real numbers. So this is not possible contradiction. And this shows that alpha must be equal to beta. In other words, f is injective. So now we prove that f is injective, and we mind that by taking x equals to 2, we get this relationship for any y. This implies that fy over f2 plus 1 must equal to y over 2 plus 1 which means fy equals to y over 2 times f2. Since this is true for any y, this means that f is a linear function, so f of x is k times x for some k. And indeed, we can verify that for any k larger than 0, well, the relationship holds and it is well defined function on positive real numbers, and these are the solutions. So hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.